Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to a new video. We are halfway through Ramadan, subhanallah. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. Maybe you are too. So, you know, hang in there. I see you sis, I see you. But today's video is all about how to prepare for Laylatul Qadr, how to make sure that we reap as many rewards as we can. And so without any further ado, let's jump into today's video. Laylatul Qadr is a night that is very special to us as Muslims because this is a night where Allah SWT decrees and decides on our fate, on our future for the year. So we want to make sure that whatever Allah SWT has planned is positive and is going to be good for us inshallah. During this night also, it is really good to worship Allah in multiple ways that I'm going to show you in a and a few and the thing is during this night that only happens once a year everything that we do during that night is counted as if we had worshipped Allah SWT for 83 years so that is more than the lifetime that we're going to spend in this dunya inshallah so you really don't want to miss it and so the first thing that I wanted to show you was charity now you can either do that with um money that you put in the masjid if you see somebody that's um, in need of food or water or whatever it is try to give as much as possible but don't give a lot all at once try to spread that throughout the 10 nights that way whichever night it falls on Laylatul Qadr you'll be able to reap the benefits of having given that um sum of money for 83 years subhanallah so what you can do is you can either give uh, money that's uh, dollar bills like so like really don't be cheap like if you can depending on your means you want to give as much as possible because that's the intention that counts so if you only have one dollar to spare spend one dollar if you only have five spend five if it is ten give 10 if it is 20 mashallah give 20 but whatever you give give in proportion to what you have you don't want to put yourself into debt doing that Allah SWT sees your intention and the more that you are able to give the more Allah SWT is going to reward you the second thing you want to do for Laila Tulkader is decade remembrance of Allah SWT because that's something that's very easy on the tongue, but that's very heavy on our balance. And that's something that as Muslim, we can all do just by sitting, whatever you do, maybe you are walking, maybe you are sitting down, maybe you are just, you know, being and existing, <laughs> subhanAllah. And you know, you just want to do a little bit of istighfar. You want to ask Allah SWT to forgive you on this blessed night because it could really save us from from hell i mean let's just be honest it could save us from hell in this blessed night inshallah so you want to say astaghfirullah 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 alhamdulillah 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 la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah subhanallah 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 you really want to do as much dikir as you can and try to do a little bit throughout the night not just once and you do a lot and then you burn out no try to spread it and really try to be strategic about how you do your istifar and how you do your dikir your remembrance of Allah SWT because if you do that for 83 years imagine for 83 years is going to be counted in your balance and the reality sister is that we don't know if this ramadan is going to be our last i know that a lot of times we believe that inshallah Allah SWT is going to bless us with another but who are we to say that if that's going to happen we really don't know like we could be here today and we might not even make it to Laila together but if we are able if Allah SWT gives us the chance to do that do it sister because there are so many people that are six feet under and they wish they could have this opportunity so really seize it and really make the most of it number three 
dua and that is something that is very important for us because a lot of times we make dua throughout the year and we feel like we are not being answered and even though we are maybe not in the way that we want it but we are being answered so maybe you want something that's very specific maybe you want a job maybe you want Allah SWT, um to grant you a good health maybe you want to have a baby maybe you want to have a good husband maybe you just want to have peace and tranquility in your life or maybe you want Allah SWT to help you with a very specific problem ask Allah SWT, make dua even if it's in french english arabic um Urdu, I don't know all the languages, but whatever language you know, ask Allah SWT, but it has to come from within. It has to come from your heart and really speak your heart out. Talk to Allah SWT. During this blessed night and trying to find Laila Tul Qadr, there is also a very good dua that a lot of uh, most Muslims we recite and I don't know it by heart, but I have it right here on my laptop. I try every year to have it written down. <laughs> I should be learning it right now, but you know, to be honest, I'm not doing my best right now, but inshallah in the future, I will try to learn it. But uh, in English, it says, Oh Allah, you are forgiving and love forgiveness, so forgive me. And so the transliteration reads, Allahumma inaka afun tuhibul afwafa fuanmi. And that's just the meaning of what I said, but that's in Arabic. So that's something that you really want to do and that is really good. You want to say this to her as many times as you can to be forgiven. A lot of times you don't realize that we have so many sins that we need to be forgiven for. And one, we don't repent. Two, we don't do istighfar. And three, we just carry on with our lives thinking that, oh, it's no big deal. I mean, Allah's mother is going to forgive me anyway. No. We really don't know the thing that is going to make the difference in our balance, either good or bad. So it might be that little thing that might tip the balance on the wrong side. So you really want to make this dua as many times as you can. It's really important. Everything is important, but this dua, if you can learn it in the process, mashallah. Number four is reading Quran and also reciting Surah Ikhlas at least three times because if you read three times surah ikhlas it's going to be as if you recited the whole quran for 83 years so the more times you say it i mean three times in a row the more times you actually read the quran during those 83 years so you really want to do that as many times as you can that's one that i really want to make and i usually make every year because that's really easy i love surah ikhlas and i don't know it's really really good and mashallah we should try as sisters to really try and learn the quran i'm trying but we two kids y'all it's hard but that's not an excuse if we really want to do something we ask Allah SWT, we make the intention and Allah SWT is going to make a way and for those who read quran in arabic it's really good because if i am not mistaken and if i am please correct me and um, tell me in the comment section below. I believe that for each letter that you read, you are being rewarded. And if you read in Arabic, mashallah, that's even better. I don't know if we are being rewarded for English or whatever language we are accustomed to, but if we are, let me know. But I really believe that it's the intention that matters. So, yeah last but not least we have prayers and so i think if you can try to pray as many times as you can do turaka tuna fields and you know just pray with the intention that inshallah swt will save you from the hellfire that Allah swt is going to grant you a good year really pray with intention and pray with concentration and um, if I'm being honest, I'm the kind of person, I have a hard time focusing on Salah. Ever since I gave birth to my second son, it's like every 30 seconds, I'm out of it. But that's something that I really want to um, to correct and to, in I mean, to improve, inshallah. So if you are one of those people who are really, you know, intentional and you pray with concentration and you pray as if Allah was in front of you, I really recommend you to 
increase inshallah your nafils and pray with intention in the hope that inshallah Allah SWT will grant you everything that your heart yearns for and everything that is good for you inshallah and so I think that's all I had for you today um the next video should be a vlog where i show you what i'm planning and how i'm doing inshallah to what i'm doing to find Laila Kadad, how i'm going to prepare for eid but yeah thank you so much for watching as usual i hope that your ramadan is doing well mine is hectic <laughs> i think that's one of the the ramadan that i love the most but that's maybe also because i have two kids now um so that's something that's really new to me but alhamdulillah i am still here i am still able to fast as i am right now and as i don't know if you can tell but my my mouth is really dry and i'm talking and i bro it's a mess but i just wanted to say that i'm so thankful for all of you we are almost to 10k subhanallah i can't believe it can you so yeah good things so let me stop rambling and I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Bye.